What is good guys, we're gonna be playing um short creepy story song. The story is a little boy who found a strange book. While your mother is fast asleep, you decide to move into the living room. You found a strange old book by the fireplace and decided to read it. It came upon a Christmas Eve not so long ago. A beast deformed in stature walked out from the snow. Its eyes were sharp and wild, jagged teeth like shards. It went from house to house, leaving footprints in the yards. Okay. Um... Is that a poem, or...? I man said I don't deserve that. Like all he gets. Oh, uh, nope. Damn, I probably should have played this on Christmas, but it's whatever. It's too late. I'm already in the game. Close that. The hell is that cat doing over there, huh? I'm about to. Never mind, never mind. Milk. Yo, cooking and milk. There's Sandy over here. Big Bologna. That's a high bathtub, if you ask me. Oh, you want me to go pour some milk out there for that man? For him. Mom, I sleep. I'm not gonna say it. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Little boy, he's looking for you. I'm scared. Does he speak foreign? I'm just asking, like, from the bottom of my heart, like. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Glancing into windows, warm with light and life, it was here to reconcile an old and bitter strife. It had a bag that screamed and cried as it dragged it on the ground. An awful thing, just an awful thing, to have to hear that sound. It threw its nose into the air and began to sniff and snort. The demon was onto something, but what? I can't report. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of Frosty Nights. Mom. Yeah, great job on scaring me, though. What is that? Bro's cutting up. Mom. I'm staying with my cat, though. Actually, the cat ain't doing nothing. Y'all should've gotten a dog, dude. time I was just I didn't know in the bitter cold you could smell its breath of rot and discontent the chains that draped its frame made its spine look broke and bent the wind it howled in vain to warn the people of this beast its cries went unregarded as people sat before their feast 
Yeah, I bet. I bet. Turn the lights on, turn them on, turn them on, turn them on. Hey. Hey. Was it on the beat, bro? Mom. Oh. You weren't looking towards the window. I know you. I know damn sure you won't. Hey, what's good? You just gonna stop like that now? Without consequence, huh? Mom. Hey, muscle on the beat, though. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ooh, got me bite my lip. That's how scared I am. I'm clenching my own lip. Okay. You may want to grab. Or not. You're one stupid kid, that's for damn sure. Mom. Not again. He's eating my mother. Whoa. Ooh, I just realized. Are you looking more towards the window? Don't look back. Ah! You were already right there, you know. I I already seen you before, like, way before that poster, by the way. Picture, not poster. Um, no. Oh. Little boy, he is looking for your city. Okay. The demon ceased its searching when it came upon my house. I did my best to hide and stay as quiet as a mouse. I walked back into the shadow, in the corner of my room, voiceless, breathless, terrified. What was that thing of gloom? I heard it leap onto the deck and dropped its sack upon the floor. A resounding thud, caked in mud. It wasn't crying anymore. Okay. It was good. I'm just asking to get killed by looking up there, dude. Also, who would think to look up there in the- Mom. Yeah. I bet you love eating when you eat my- That's funny. You weren't there- Michael Myers? Man, what are you doing, Michael? Mom. Stop saying mom every time you walk by. She ain't. You're not that scary, buddy. Little boy, he found your city and is now looking for your street. I left my room and crept down the stairs to see if it got in. Hoping it wasn't that demon who they said would eat my skin it stood before the fireplace the front door was wide opened i don't know how this thing got in but i had nowhere left to hide okay um first of all you don't have any stairs Save me. This is why I hate cats. Mom. Yeah. You know what? Scissors. 
scissors. You're a stupid little tot. Why don't you grab the scissors, hmm? I would have thought. I would have thought of doing that. Yep, we go on. Ow! Oh no. Bomb. And you're still. Oh, what? A little boy. He found the street and is now looking for your house. It turned its face from the fire with a scowl you'd have to see. The demon had a quarrel, all right, and the quarrel was with me. It pulled out from its pocket of its robe, all blacked and charred, a burning piece of paper, and it handed me its card. The card read only Krampus, before I felt its claws upon my throat. Are you looking at me? Yeah, you are. No, you are, dude. Keep the same energy. I thought you were standing on that table, bro. I'm getting hallucinations. Mom. Damn. Are you already? And that's when you grab or not because you're stupid. Like, I can't fathom the stupidity. Even grab those too. Bro, like. Mom, what's happened? I need to find something. You know how to lock pick, okay? <laughs> That was the non scariest thing ever. Uh, we we're gonna close that though. Now I'm in a bag with other kids set for some place remote. We were bad and didn't listen to our parents and their orders. We broke a lot of rules and disrespected borders. Now old Krampus has us, and he'll probably sell us off as food. This is what you get when you're whiny, mean, or rude. Now have a Merry Christmas, and do as you've been told, lest you wind up in a demon bag being dragged upon the road. Is that the whole reason why Krampus is a thing though? It's like scared them all the kids and stuff, like little boy he found. Alright, what's good Crampy? How you doing? So today I'm gonna be showing you how to um So today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this and that and this. So if you wanna start a fight with old buddy over here. Just a dream. Waking up from a bad dream, you relieved to find yourself in a warm, cozy bed. It was so dark out. You already knew it was Christmas. You stood up and walked into the living room. Turn on the light, soft melting color, light for the room with a it's in the room, all your fears and all your fears. Just in case you decide not to burn a strain of work anymore. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, the other ones were better. But it's alright. If y'all enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, get the bell icon, and I'll see y'all next time.